Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where I will going to show you how you can create the tree map chart within Power BI as well as format it as per your needs. And before I move ahead, just a very quick information that this sheet which I am maintaining for all the Power BI related tutorials is present within the description. So if you want, you can get it access directly or if you want to share with other people who may want to learn it, uh, can learn it directly from here step by step about each topic as to how to create uh, each chart or connect through various different data sources. Also, as you can see, the link is present for the uh, YouTube video. So this is going to be helpful for you as well as uh, others who may want to learn this. So. Now let's move on to the topic which is Power BI tree map chart. All right, so here we have the Power BI tree map chart and this chart is especially helpful when you have a lot of different categories and you want to show the proportion of each category as to how much uh, sales or how much profit or any other measure that is relevant to your analysis is coming under that particular category. So for example, over here we can clearly see that technology is the first one followed by the furniture and office supply as the three main categories. And for each main category, we have some subcategory like for technology, we have office machine, telephones and communication, copiers and fax, and finally the computer peripheral. Similarly for furniture, their respective categories for office supply, their respective categories. And even the, the last category, the rubber brands, even though it is not uh, properly shown because the value is re relatively very less. Still, when you hover your mouse over to the category, you are able to see it. So a couple of scenarios in which you can see it. First, I have shown you like uh, you want to show multiple, uh, so many values and their respective proportion, as well as uh, if you are thinking about creating a pie chart and if it is going anywhere beyond five different categories also, those categories uh, proportion is, is not making a lot of impact on the pie chart. Then, you know, start thinking about if you can use the tree map chart, especially on even on the bar chart side, when you want to do the comparison on multiple main categories and subcategories, then in that scenario, you may start thinking that uh, whether bar chart is a useful one, or if you plot the same information within the tree map chart, then the tree map chart is useful or not. Now, let's see how we can create the this particular chart or the tree map chart within Power BI. So first I'll delete that and the tree map chart is present over here. So if I just click it here, you will see a tree map chart is present and I have just expanded it. And what I want to add first is the group. Okay, so the group is nothing but the product category. So product category is added and then details. In details, I will going to add the product subcategory and for the values, we can choose any measure like sales we have, we have the profit and we have discount and all. So let's choose sales for now. And if you see, this is the chart which was even shown earlier is present now and showing us the category, various main categories like technology, furniture and office supplies and their respective subcategories. However, if you see the labels and everything was uh, pretty much visible but uh, in the previous chart but not here because these are the default settings so to change the settings you can come back here in the format or you can move into this format option sort of a painter icon and first of all you can enable the data labels so it is showing you uh, in million what is a value so what i can do is go down there and increase the text size to something which is 11 and uh, I want to display the units in thousands. So if you see, uh, even though it is taking a lot of space, but this makes more sense than just million. Or if you want to show the millions, then you can come back and show the millions. All right, uh, if you want to change the color of these data labels, which is only this part, 1.13 million, 1.89 million, then you can change it. I think, uh, down there you have the option of changing even the uh, font family okay so that's one um second is the legend so legend is uh, is not what we want but the category so we want to increase the if you see 
if I'm increasing, this is the size which, which is being increased. So it's now clear uh, with the 12 font size or if you want to increase, you can increase a little bit more like 14 category as to what this uh, category is and how would you uh, increase it. So both of these settings I have now shown you uh, how you can change the main category and subcategory their respective data labels over here. You also have the data colors. And if you see the data colors is present for each main category. So for let's say office supply, if you want a different color, maybe this one, then you can choose this one or, or any other color of your interest. Maybe the purple is what, what your organization is using. You can choose this and you have the option for all the three different uh, categories. But down there, if you will see all the other formatting is pretty straightforward. But in the uh, last point, what I'll show you is the tooltip. So right now what we are having is only the sales. But if you want to show more information on the tooltip for the end user perspective, for example, the profit, then I will just add the profit over here and it will start showing me along with the sales, how much profit that we are making in this category. So that's mainly about uh, how you can create and format the uh, the tree map chart within the Power BI. But if you have any question, let me know. We'll, I'll try to answer it based on the knowledge I have, or maybe we'll do a little bit of research if it is a little bit complex. But yeah, uh, this is this is all about the Power the Power BI tree map chart. So thank you, and I'll meet you in the next topic.